Namaste everyone and welcome to a little 30 minute yoga session. So this is a fairly easy grounding practice um, but as always with yoga just um, go into it as, as much as you feel comfortable. Always be aware if you've got injuries just to take that into consideration. So we're just going to start off sitting comfortably and we'll come into some complete yoga breathing. So just start with your hands on the belly and as you breathe in feel your belly expand and as you breathe out just feel it gently release back toward the spine inhaling expanding the belly feel your middle fingers gently draw apart Exhale, release, fingers back together. Just one more time. Then take the hands a little higher, so just around the lower rib area. And we're going to focus on breathing into the lower ribs, into the middle lungs, feeling this area expand as you breathe in. Feeling it gently contract as you breathe out. And two more times, expanding the middle lungs, feeling the ribs expand. Then just move the hands up to the chest area. Put your fingers lightly on the collarbones. And as you breathe in, feel chest area expands out to the sides of the room and as you breathe out for the collarbones release back together so inhale expanding the upper chest feel the collarbones draw apart exhale releasing just two more times expanding the upper lungs hand at the heart and one hand at the belly. So we're going to breathe from the lower hand into the upper hand, breathing into those three parts of the lungs. So inhale into the lower, middle, then upper lungs, completing the inhalation, then exhale out of the upper, middle, then lower lungs. your hands down and just try and breathe like this throughout the session so just filling the lungs using full capacity of your lungs and chest and just keeping the body relaxed so we'll start off with a couple of neck rolls so just bring the chin in towards the chest and just rolling around to the shoulder and back down and back to the other side so just side to side a few times And then from the shoulder, gently up and around to the other side. So just keeping the neck in line with the spine. Good, releasing back. So clasp the fingers behind the back of your head as you inhale. Open up through the chest, draw the elbows back, stretch through the arms and shoulders. As you exhale, curl forward. No weight on the head, but just draw the elbows together and release down, stretching through the back of the spine. Then inhaling, stretching through the front of the torso. So with your breath. time.
release the hands back to the sides. Just sitting in neutral, fingertips lightly resting on the ground. Remember your breath. So we're just going to make our way over to hands and knees. To bring the hands under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. And we're going to take one of the legs, you can take the right leg out, stretch into the heel, just lift it up to hip height. And then if you'd like to balance, you can just walk your opposite fingers out in front and maybe stay there, or if you can raise the arm. Pause there for a moment. Then point the toe, lift your arm, end your leg a little higher. Exhale, curl forward to bring the knee and the elbow together. Just going to do that three times, inhaling up. If you need to have a hand on the ground, you can, and just move your leg. Then release that side down and change. So take the left leg out, flexing the foot, stretching into the heel to start with, and then walk your fingers out. Perhaps you're just staying with the fingers balancing on the ground, or maybe you can lift your arm and balance, draw the belly in, staying strong through the center of the body. Point the toes, lift a little higher, exhale, elbow to knee. those fingers away to feel the stretch through the upper arms. Release the head down. Take a breath here. Then walk your hands over to one side just until you feel a stretch through the opposite sides. Just as far as feels comfortable. Breathing here. And then walk the hands to the other side. to the knees, raise the arms, inhale, exhale, arms to the sides. So we're going to come into some side stretches. Take one leg out, point the toes away, you can lift the ball of the foot off the ground if you need to. Just make sure this other side, the hips over the knee. So one hand is just on that straight leg, we'll raise the opposite arm. And then as we exhale, just slide your hand down, coming into a side stretch. Keep the belly drawn in. As always, just come into it as far as feels comfortable. Inhale, raise the arms back up. We'll change sides. So if you can't reach the floor, you can just take your hand to the side of your leg. If you can reach, just bring the fingers of the hand down and stretch through the opposite side. You want to make it stronger, you can raise that straight leg a little, lift the foot a little bit off the ground. And then release, lift the torso, raise the arms, clasp the fingers, turn the palms up, just a gentle arch through the spine. And then release your hands down. So we'll change sides. So hip over knee and just turn your toes out, so getting that nice stretch through the leg. So raise the arms, we'll come down towards the straight leg, just slide your hand down as you open up through the opposite side. So breathing there for a moment. Then on your inhale, come back up, changing sides. So either hand just rests on the side of your leg or you can take it to the ground. Whatever feels more comfortable, stretch all the way from the fingers down to your toes. If you want to make it stronger, lift the straight leg, belly drawn in. Release, lift the torso, raise the arms, clasp the fingers, turn the palms up, stretching down the sides of the body, and then release arms to your sides. So we'll come 
back to hands and knees. And this time bringing the balls of the feet to the ground. We're going to lift our hips and draw the hips back. So coming into down dog, but you can start off with your knees bent. You can actually stay in that position if that's better for you. Focus on drawing the hips back, lengthening the spine. Fingers are slightly spread apart and really strong through the base of your fingers. So stretching along the spine. Perhaps you can start to just lower the heels, lift them down and up off the floor. But if not, just keep the knees bent. And then we're just going to walk our feet up to our hands. And just slowly roll up. So bend the knees. Stack the vertebra one by one. Head comes up last. And once you're up, raise the arms. And we're going to curl down. So we'll do some spinal curls. So stretch along the back area. Bring energy along the spine. Just really improving the health of the spinal nerves. Inhale up. Exhale down. So as always, when you come down, just bend your knees if there's any strain in the lower back. So in any forward fold like this, you can keep the knees bent. If it feels comfortable, you can straighten. So just one more time. Exhale down. Standing for a moment in mountain pose, so feet hip width apart. You can lift the toes and spread them out, bring them down, and just feel the weight of your body even across your feet. So feel the weight shifting and just bring it evenly front and back, inner and outer. So often we stand a little bit lopsided, draw the belly in, broaden the chest, shoulder blades down into the back. Take the fingers to the tops of the shoulders. We're just going to do a couple of shoulder rolls. So bring the elbows all the way in, all the way up, all the way back, all the way down. Just trying to release any tension held in these areas, then change direction. Good. Release your arms. We'll come into chair pose, which is good for strengthening through the legs. So you can start with the hands at the heart. And we're simply going to bend our knees, but lean slightly forward of the legs with our torso. So you want to keep the lower back nice and long, so don't arch the lower back. Just keep the tailbone pointing down towards the back of the mat. If you want to make it stronger, then come down a little further. If you want to straighten the arms, you can. We can have the arms straight out if you have any shoulder issues, or just keep hands at the heart. So we're just going to hold it there. Bring a little bit of weight into your heels, just slightly weight the heels more, and feel that strengthening in your thighs. Belly drawn in, perhaps come a little lower, it feels comfortable. Just one more breath here. Inhale back up. Gentle arch through the upper spine. Take the hands to the heart and just step your right foot back. So a big step back. Bend through this front knee. So the knee's over the ankle. Your hips are facing forward. So we're going to move with our breath. Inhale the arms up. You can have the hands apart. That's better for you. As you exhale, bring the arms down and fold from the hips, so keep length through your spine. Just come down to halfway and bring the arms along your torso. Inhale up, the legs stay strong, they just stay in that same position. Front knee bent over the ankle. Exhale forward, so keeping length through the spine. Feel those back muscles engage. Just one more time. Pause as you come forward and we'll come into a balance. So you can either 
lift off through the back foot, or you can just take half a step forward first onto the tip of your back toe. Perhaps you need to stay there, maybe you can lift your leg a little bit, or maybe you can come more parallel to the floor with your arms and your back leg. If you want to make it stronger, you can take the arms out to the sides, or you can take the arms forward, or you can just keep the hands at the heart or keep them back where they were beside the body. Just breathing gently, focusing somewhere in front of you. Exhale, feet back together. Inhale, lift, just gently counterposing. And then hands to the heart. And so we'll change sides. So step back with your left foot, or the opposite foot. Bring this front knee over the ankle so your hips are facing forward. And then we'll move with our breath. So inhale up, take the hands to shoulder width. Exhale, fold. So keeping length through the spine, just fold from the hips. Arms come along the side of the torso. Inhale up. Exhale, forward. in that position, getting ready for our balance. So either just lift off through the back foot or take half a step first. Arms can stay along the body or hands at the heart or just to make it a little stronger, arms out to the sides or arms forward. So find whatever angle works for you. You might be up a little higher if you have trouble balancing. You can always take your hand and put it next to a wall. Just adjust it so it suits you. the arms to your sides. So we're going to take the legs out to a wide, more wide-legged position. Just as far as feels comfortable, the feet parallel and the weight of your body even across your feet once again. So not leaning back in the heels, we will lose the stretch, bring it forward into the front foot. Hands to the hips and we'll fold again from the hip creases. So once again, if you're only moving a little bit before you feel like you're starting to hunch, just stay there. You can work with your breath, so maybe you can, with each exhale, go a little further. You can also, if you have a chair handy, you can bring your hands and just rest them on a chair. Or if you feel comfortable coming so you're more parallel to the ground, just pause there and we'll come into some twists. So you can either keep the hands at the hips and simply turn, keeping the leg through the spine, side to side. If you want to go a little further, one hand can come down and one hand up. And you can even have your hand on something, on a, if you have a block at home or a, just a book or something. So inhale out and exhale change. So one hand down, one hand up, lengthening up through the fingers. Once again, just move with your breath. making yourself even on both sides. And then if you'd like to release down a little further, you can have that chair in front of you if you need it, or you can release your hands to the ground and perhaps just let go a little further through the upper body. So the crown of the head comes towards the ground. We can take the hands back behind the feet, or just whatever's comfortable. Feeling that rush of energy down into the brain. Very calming position for the body and mind. Moment. 
Just let the circulation level out a little bit. And then we'll walk our feet. So just in a little bit. So you're in horse stance, your toes are pointing out and now your knees are bent up over the ankles. But as well, once again, just go into it as far as feels comfortable. Raise the arms up. Turn the palms forward, stretch through the wrists as you come down in front. So we're going to do that with our breath. Inhale, opening up the arms as wide as you can. Continue up as you inhale. Then palms forward, and exhale down. Just go at your own pace. If it's too strong on the legs, you can, as you come up, you can straighten the legs. And then as you come down, bend them. But just, if you want to really strengthen, you can keep them in that position. And we'll make our way down to the floor. So we're just going to sit with our feet in front. And we're just going to walk the feet back. So you're sort of balancing on your toes. You can stay there. If you want to balance a little more, then lift the feet off the ground. And then if you want to take it further and come into boat pose, just take the lower legs so they're parallel to the floor. You can support the thighs with your hands if you like. Just keep the chest open, the spine nice and long. If you want to go a little stronger, straighten the arms or perhaps even straighten the legs as well. But as always, just do the one that works for you today. It's really strong through the core of the body. Perhaps lifting the arms. down. So we'll come down. Oh no, actually we'll come into a back bend first. So come over onto the belly. Just release down. Hands beside the body. We can actually just rest your forehead on your hands if you like. Soften through the back area. And then come up onto the forearms. So we're in sphinx pose, the fingers slightly spread apart. Your body's actually engaged, so we're not just sort of relaxed here. We're lifting through the sternum, we're pushing the backs of the thighs into the ground. So our legs are strong, so we're opening up the spine, using the whole body. Just breathing here. So if you want to go a little deeper, you can turn the hands out a little bit, maybe Lift the elbows off the floor, stretch through the front of the body, and then release down. Come back to that resting position. Take a breath here, soften through the back area. And then we'll come up again, so you can either do one of those two, or if you'd like to do locust pose, a little stronger, you can lift so starting with the arms beside the body, lift up through the head and chest, through the arms and through the legs. So you're sort of just resting on the belly, the lower ribs and the hips. If you want to make it stronger, you can take the arms out or out in front. But as always, just do the one that works for you today. Do the one where you're challenged but not pushing yourself too hard or straining anything. Just breathing gently. Before coming down, you might want to clasp the hands behind and lift a little higher through the chest. And then exhale, slowly come down. Back to that resting position. So we'll consolidate that back bend. 
by counterposing, pushing back up to all fours. Bring the knees in together and come down into child's pose. You can either rest your forehead on the stacked fists or forehead on the ground, arms beside the body. Just take this opportunity to completely relax down, so let your shoulders release towards the ground. Feel that calming effect. So long exhales, once again the head's below the heart. So we're getting just a gentle calming effect through the body and the mind. Slowly make our way up and just pausing in neutral for a moment, palms facing upward. And we'll come down into onto our spines, into a spine position. So you can just let your knees rest in together for a moment, palms facing upward. And we'll come into a spinal twist. So you straighten one leg and take the opposite foot, the sole of the foot, just onto that thigh. And then you can guide that knee with your hand, the other arm's out from the shoulder. We're just gonna guide that knee over towards the floor. But just go as far as feels comfortable. You can turn your head the opposite way and just breathe here. And slowly come back, changing sides. So the sole of the foot on the thigh, guide that knee over with your hand. Turn the head to the Face the opposite way. And release. And take the knees into the chest and just some gentle circles around the sacrum area. And then you can make your way down to just lie in a comfortable position. So have the feet about hip width apart. And if you need anything so you're comfortable lying down, just grab if you need a cushion for your head or a blanket. We're gonna lie down for about five minutes. So just make sure that you can just relax for five minutes. Get comfortable. It's good to have the arms slightly away from the body and the feet about hip width apart so your feet can just rest out to the sides in your relaxation pose. And then just let the whole body relax into the ground. So as you exhale, just completely letting go any remaining tension. Feel the heels resting into the ground. Relax the soles of the feet and the toes. Feel the muscles through the legs and hips. Relax. Feel softness through the belly. Imagine all the internal organs relaxing down toward the lower back area. Feel a release along the spine. Feel tension dissipate from around the shoulders. Relax the arms, hands, and fingers. As you breathe in, feel a gentle expansion around the heart area. As you breathe out, softness into the neck and throat. Feel a release around your jaw. Let the muscles around the eyes relax. Let the forehead.
forehead is smooth, your scalp loose. Feel the back of your head rest into the ground. Let your whole body relax. Notice any thoughts coming across the mind. Imagine that flow of mind activity is like a river flowing by. But you're on the bank of the river, so you're not washed away with all those thoughts. You're like a silent witness to the mind activity, just watching it pass, watching the thoughts, the memories, the images, worries, stresses, emotions. Just let it all flow by. Sometimes it's a busy, rushing river. Sometimes it's just a trickle, just a calm little stream. Whatever's there, just step back without judgment, recognizing that flow is temporary. Just let it pass. Rest the body, rest the mind. Let your true essence, the spirit soul within the body, rest for a few breaths. to your side and just take a couple of breaths on your side. And just slowly coming back to a seated position. So just come back to sit comfortably. We're just going to finish off with um, just a very short meditation. Uh, breathing meditation, adding a mantra to our breath. So we're going to say the mantra Goranga, so it means the golden one. Just by saying or hearing a mantra, we can experience just some peace of the mind and peace in the heart. So we'll say the mantra with our breath. So we'll inhale together, and as we exhale, we'll say Goranga slowly. So just completely rest the heart and mind in that sound. We'll just do that a few times. Take a long inhale.
breathing naturally again. And just before opening the eyes, rub the hands together, make them warm, and then just place that warmth over your eyes. Take the hands to the heart. Namaste. Thanks so much everyone.